63 years of independence 63 years of promises 63 years of patience it's time for governance now governance now let's make it work or whatever infrastructure expenditure and all that there are serious issues and therefore we are now enacting strengthening the systems which deliver uh, a blow to corruption but then as i said this is one area which i don't think we are really proud of our performance we are going to soon bring in a law to protect whistleblowers both within the government and any citizen who comes across example of uh, corrupt practice he is uh, free to approach the central vigilance commissioner and his identity will be protected of course we are not uh, gone to the level of uh, what united states does to in the witness protection program but this is a first step where we'll uh, incentivize people to come out and help the government punish the guilty government is fully conscious of these various uh, facts and attaches uh, great importance to the reforms agenda and i'd like to list out certain key priorities of the government of this government of upa2 among various other things that we are trying to do number 1 decentralization of power and empowerment of citizens number 2 effective people's participation through state and non state mechanisms greater synergy and consolidation among various agencies and programs of the government civil service reforms transparency I talked about it rationalization of government schemes and modes of financial assistance to states improved access to formal justice system to enforce rights reforms and strengthening of land administration and harnessing the power of technology for governance with its e governance use of internet electronic filing of returns all that in this in this regard one of the most important steps was as i said the arc the administrative reforms commission and the right to information act which was enacted in 2005 the department of administrative reforms and uh, pensions has taken several significant steps to push the reforms agenda which includes implementation of sevottam framework in central and state governments documentation and dissemination of best practices through regional conferences and uh, conferences of state administrative reforms secretaries we maintain a knowledge portal um, formulating change management initiatives like social accountability framework internal control and risk management framework state of the government's report etc development uh, the arpg department of administrative reforms will shortly be launching public grievance system in the central government and state governments uh, and uh, in all the ministries of central government and departments uh, i about our initiative of promoting e governance An annual conference of uh, e-governance is held every year with a partner state, which is very well attended, and uh, best practices, best initiatives in the state governments by various civil servants, collectors, CEOs, and states are recognized and rewarded. As I said. the use of technology has uh, improved uh, governance to a great extent the governance has become extremely complicated and extremely complex now 
over the years. The number of people who ran the government when we became free, I think has gone up many folds. And there is a perception that there is too much bureaucracy, that too much money is wasted in civil service salaries, but I don't think that is a correct perception. If you compare to the expenditure and governance in most of the Western world, I think we compare very favorably with the rest of them. Just take a new initiative like the unique uh, ID project with a uh, colleague of uh, Sundaran Murthy, Nandan Nilekani is heading. It's a great initiative, and we hope that the leakages in public distribution system or any public delivery will be strengthened when we uniquely identify most of our citizens. I think even Mr. Nilekani is not attempting to uh, identify 100% of citizens. His best target is about 70 or 80 percent. But if we are able to do that, it will be world's largest such programs and uh, massive IT infrastructure will have to be used to really achieve what Mr. Nilekani is set out to do. It will really change the face of uh, government-public relationship. But that program has taken up, I think, tens and tens of joint secretary level offices and director level offices. So government has to expand. We are doing civil service reforms. The way civil servants are recruited is undergoing change this year. Instead of the system of preliminary examination that many of you might actually have taken that examination, is now being changed to an aptitude examination. And we're constantly looking at attractive best talent to come from states to center and send uh, talent from states to uh, center back to states to bring the field level experience. We are investing heavily in training our civil service officers. They're free to go and take up uh, master's degrees in any of the best universities abroad. The short term mid career courses after 10 years, after 20 years, after 30 years to keep uh, senior civil servants in tune with the latest international practices.